Right, hello my fellow YouTubers and moto vloggers and all that. Um, today, I'm back on the bike, back on Sagomi. She's called Sagomi, my baby, if you don't know already. Um, I've got a new mic, so what I've got to try and do is not shout into it, because I've had a habit of shouting into my microphone because it's taken me five months to get quality sound I've still got this habit of screaming into the mic which is stupid I'm just taking you into my town of Oxfordshire beautiful place Oxfordshire is full of um, scientists and testing and all that sort of stuff they discovered DNA in Oxfordshire um, <coughs> loads of stuff <coughs> but anyway, that, that's the end of the history tour. I want to talk about um, YouTube and moto vlogging. Um, Baron Von Grumble, if you haven't seen him, he recently did a video on where where did he see his place in YouTube. <laughs> it's not the same as it was the whole vlogging on YouTube it's it's just not the same as it was maybe that's just the way I see it I don't know but it's like there's only so many things you can talk about cock around on a bike with one helmet camera now the, 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 the level that people are going to with multiple cameras drones and all sorts of shit it's, it's fantastic content because all the YouTubers now are buying drones and I've bought a drone, but I'll explain that in a bit. Um, because these motor vlogs are becoming more advanced, he he was he put the video out to get sort of comments back just to see where he sat, you know, which was a cracking idea. Because I'd do the same in that position. But you know he was wondering if there was a place for him in YouTube with with all this new technology he's kind of wondering if his channel Baron Von Grumble was going to get sort of phased out now this is just my opinion and I'm going to be talking about what I think about motor vlogging and you know this is this is purely look at these beautiful buildings this is purely my opinion for me People like Baron Von Grumble, you know, he's one of my favorite moto vloggers, and to me, he's here to stay. He doesn't need a drone or... My opinion on moto vlogging is, I, don't, I think it's so much, the biggest percentage of what it's about, it's about the person behind the vlog. Um, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand people have subscribed to Baron for Baron, in in my opinion. You know, you can chuck fancy bikes at things, you can chuck drones at things, but people like Baron Von Grumble and Royal Jordanian, I mean, they are part of the furniture. They're, they're what motor vlogging's all about, you know? So, I won't ever stop watching them. I'm curious to see what they do every day. You know, to me, they're always original. So, so for me, moto vlogging. I mean, I personally love to watch, you know, people that are on, I mean, I'm a newbie, a complete newbie. So, so I understand where all, all the newbies come from. Um, they're, they're trying to find an identity. They're evolving into the role of moto vlogging. Let me just make sure this camera's on, because I would be angry if I if I lost all this chatter. Um, yeah, they're evolving into the position, and it is so nice to watch people coming up with their own identity in in this game. Now. I believe uh, motor vlogging's 
exploded all over the world but I truly believe that moto vlogging is be gonna become much bigger than what it is I mean where else in the world where else do you find you jumping on someone's bike in their country in their town discussing things about what's going on in their town looking into their lives I mean I just think it's going to explode even more you know if you're accepted in the motor vlogging world if you start and just nothing happens then you've got to you've got to improve things if if you're if you've been working for for years at it and you've only got a few subscribers and you're on like a hundred videos then that's a kind of indicator that that maybe motor vlogging is not for you but but I truly believe that yeah I, don't, I believe it's going to explode bigger that's that's going on my instincts and I totally trust my instincts by the way totally whenever I don't listen to my instincts um, things will go wrong so I believe that motor vlogging is going to be massive if you are if you are you know, in it, and you're thinking of giving up on it. Don't, don't. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. I mean, I'm gonna explain to you now why I got into motor vlogging, and the reason why I got into YouTube was the last three to four years have been the most stressful years of my life. I made one tiny little decision that was wrong. Um, and this is where I say you should really listen to your instincts I decided to work alone I had this great idea of working alone and staying at home and building a house and and all that kind of stuff but the thing that I didn't realize is The one thing that I didn't realise is how important it is to be around people at work. This boss once put all his workers in separate rooms because he believed that all the, all the workers would be more productive. But it turned out they were getting half as much work done because they were stuck in their own little rooms, too much time to think. And it kind of messed them up a little bit. Well, that's exactly what's happened to me. Um, hope you can hear me over the noise of this bus. I, I had this, my instincts told me not to work alone, but I did. I mean, this is, this all this stress has not come from, you know, what I was working on, sounds a bit contradictory, was a success. I mean, a huge success. But for me personally, for my own health, it's been an absolute nightmare. God, I'm getting a bit deep now, aren't I? Yeah, for my own personal health, working alone, too much time to think, start to stress, I've had pleurisy, I've had what you call epididymitis. Um, they do say, someone sent me an article to say that um, that loneliness, that looks like an AMG but it's not, that loneliness kills more people than obesity. I mean in the evenings I still had my family around me and everything, it was just working all day on my own with no human interaction. I mean I don't normally swear but it fucked me to be honest completely fucked me so that is the reason why I got into to YouTube and motor vlogging and everything I, I needed something that expanded my world I hope I've got enough battery in there yeah I needed an outlet that expanded my world so so I decided to set my own channel up um, I did. I put out a load of videos and 
which I've taken down now because you can see the sheer stress on my shoulders as I, d I got myself into a bit of a state that I didn't even see coming um, even my neighbours saw the stress on my shoulders you know that a few people were concerned about me you know but I know this sounds completely contradictory no no I, don't, I won't say I won't say I won't say but I don't fuck me I'm getting deep now and I yeah so people were seeing this stress on me anyway starting the channel put a load of vids on felt like an absolute twat watching them back could see this mega stress on my head and so I took them down and it's kind of grown a little bit I've kind of got a little bit used to the camera just a little bit this this is another thing for me as well I'm a perfectionist and I seek to get better once I'm locked on to summer I don't let it go uh, I'm fussy and so yeah being able to create a video and put it up and get comments back was amazing and what it's done for me is it's carved away at this pardon me it's carved away at the stress on my shoulders and I can't tell you communicating with all you lot your motor vloggers and all that it's made me I mean I'm a lot happier I, every day I come out on this bike if I do a little vlog it, it it's carving the stress off me I can feel it I can feel it so you know I, don't, I have gone out and bought a drone and all that but that's purely because I'm seeking to do better vi videos because I'm such an anal prick I do I want to make videos that people really enjoy so so you know for me in my opinion you don't have to go out and buy all the fancy gear to to grow your YouTube channel is it's about if you're if you're a motor vlogger watching it's about you as a person I believe well a massive proportion of it is I mean obviously people subscribe to you for your bike um, they subscribe to you because they want to see what goes on in your town you know that there is a portion of that but you know without Baron Von Grumble that channel is nothing is it let's be honest about it so you know just to finish round this video up stick with it people stick with it and if you're considering motor vlogging for me it's it has been life-changing you know I'm 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 making some big changes in my life. I'm selling my house, I'm selling my truck, I'm selling my land, and me's gonna have some fun. Life life we all believe that life is this one straight road that when we're younger that is there's gonna be no ups and downs and it's all gonna be hunky dory. Well, life is not like that, but on a part in word life is this tiny beautiful little stretch of opportunity and we have to enjoy it we have to enjoy it we taking life too seriously is is just the wrong thing to do so right now with this motor vlogging and all that I'm enjoying life enjoying what I'm doing you know the weather's improving in the UK so I can get some more motor vlogs banged out and yeah if you're considering doing it do it do it because you will love it you will love it you you'll think it's a right slog early on to get subscribers but you know you do one good video and it will just grow like you would not believe and it's not about the money but the money starts to flow in gradually I mean I would never believe have believed that I would clock 300,000 views it's gone over that now I can't believe it I mean me you know 
Chao.